All right, now for another video that's out of the norm. Excuse my super dirty car. I know I need to wash it. So this little device is called a Shelly One. They have a bunch of different ones, and as you can read, it's a Wi-Fi relay switch. I bought this to add wireless phone app control or remote control of my garage door opener. These can be used for a whole bunch of things like lights, fans, whatever you want to, uh, that can be switched. These things can be powered through AC and DC, as you can see on it. I recommend doing DC as that is what the channel or the video that I watch recommended doing. If you want to look into using one of these or get one of these, they're about $15 a piece. I think it was just shy of $30 for a two pack off Amazon. Reed switches off Amazon were super cheap, maybe five bucks. A DC 12 volt power supply off of Amazon was also about $5. So um, you'll wire in 12 volt positive on the N terminal, 12 volt negative on the L terminal, and then I'll go over how to reset this in just a sec. But if you do want to look into getting one of these, search Garage or Shelly Garage Door Opener on YouTube. There's a YouTuber called The Hookup. He does a really good tutorial on how to set this up. Um, on to why I need to reset this. So my wireless router died. If you are changing wireless networks, there's ways in the app to add a second wireless SSID and password, or you can put it back in AP mode, etc. Mine died and do that. So the only two things I could do is, one, I could name my new wireless the exact same and give it the same password. I didn't do that, didn't want to do that. Or you can do this reset that I'm about to do. I tried searching YouTube and couldn't find a video in English that shows how to do this. And I did finally find like a Facebook post, which was kind of weird. It didn't seem like their website actually had a, a write-up that I could easily find. It took me a while to Google around for it, but I did find it. And I figured I'd sh save you guys some time by showing you how to do this. So your power 12 volt, by the way, if it's AC that you're using on this, look it up. I don't know if it's the same procedure. It probably isn't. Don't electrocute yourself. But for DC, where you're 12 volt positive on the N, 12 volt negative on the L, and you just hook a jumper wire, or you can use whatever to jump the two pins, but you're jumping the switch and the L. So all you do is pull the plug on 12 volt, let it sit for a second, plug it back in, and then tap the SW to the L five times. Like so. It's not gonna do anything now because I don't have 12 volts hooked to this one, and it was too hard for me to try to record me doing it up there. So when you do it right, you'll, like I said, you'll touch and release five times. So 10 actions, touch, release, touch, release, and so on, 10 times. The relay, you'll hear click multiple times inside. That's letting you know it's successful. Now it's back in AP mode and you can add it as a device in the Shelly app again. I already did mine. You can also use this read switch, which is why mine has that little red light. He goes over how to set this all up in his video on uh, YouTube that I was talking about from the hookup. But as you can see, it works again. And green means my garage door is open. Red means it's shut. Thanks for watching.